Welcome back to Black Belt Fashion. Now, let's jump in to the most stunning Versace Spring Summer Collection 2022. Today, the fashion industry has shown extended lengths of creativity, especially the big brands like Louis Vuitton, Versace, Balenciaga, and others. Numerous creative designs are being released and others that are still cooking, ready to be released when the time is right. Talking about the big brands in the industry, today's video will majorly look at Versace's Spring Summer Collection 2022 fashion show highlights. Some of the outfits are already in production, while some are yet to hit the market. Hello, and welcome to today's video, where we will be looking at some of the most stunning Spring Summer Versace collections in 2022. Stay tuned as we look at these collections, some of which seem to bring a little more sauce while others portray modern luxury designs as they expose the exact body postures of models. Versace models filled the runway with some of the most iconic performances ever in the fashion industry. The makeup, dressing, modeling down the runway were all tops, all done perfectly in a seamless manner that left the audience concentrating on the collection that Versace is about to unveil. For a long time, Scarves have been used as part of the dressing. Scarves date as early as before Christ, BC. Yes, you have heard that right. They are one of the oldest yet still classy pieces of clothing that humans have ever invented. I wonder if there will be any other pieces of clothing that will have many applications, like the scarf ever again to be invented. I mean, be it casual wear or official wear, you can still rock a scarf and still stand out within the crowd. Enough said about the scarf. Let's get back to the Versace Spring Summer Collection. Having known the true flexibility that comes with the scarf, Versace took advantage of the fact and made some of the most stunning collections. The transformational nature of the scarf allows it to become anything that the user might desire it to become. Say, billowing shirts to sexy, shrunken fit dresses, literally anything that can be worn. Compared to the penguins of Madagascar, who always had the solutions to everything by removing tools of all sorts from their bellies, the scarf too can be worn anytime with anything and still give you a fire outfit. Combined with the iconic graphic prints, the design featured in the Versace Summer Collection 2022 felt thrown together, unfinished and unpolished. The designs looked as if they had been ripped apart and then stitched back together in the same lightning speed. As far as creativity is concerned, the designs were modern looking and pleasing to the eyes of the audience that attended the fashion show. The models were chosen to showcase the designs that complemented the designs, which gave the finest details of the curves on their bodies. The garments used while modeling were fastened together using the brand safety pins. Despite being iconic in their normal state by just bearing the brand's emblem, these pins were made even more appealing since they were painted with modernized vibrant colors that made them stand out. These safety pins serve two purposes, fastening and serving bold embellishment. The collection was worn on the runway tightly wrapped around the model's body with randomly placed hardware on the clothes. On the runway were Dua Lipa, Naomi Campbell, Emily Ratajkowski, and Lords Leon. The appearance of these icons almost broke the internet seeing all their fans. Attention was directed to them on the runway. Their fans collectively got Versace's website crashing momentarily after they all wanted to get the privilege to at least get a glance of the live stream session of what was happening on Versace's fashion show runway. The scene outside the venue was no different. The venue in Milan flocked with many people, young people to be precise, all who had lined up holding the least hope that they could get for them to get the slightest in-person sightings for their favorite icons. Having mastered the art of attracting attention and stealing the show, Donatella Versace showed off her expertise in stealing the world's attention. How did she do this? You might be wondering, or even you might wonder who Donatella Versace is. Simply put, she is one of the world's most iconic fashion designers. Born on May 2nd, 1955, the Italian fashion designer Businesswoman, socialite, and model is a blood sister to the founder of the luxury fashion company Versace, of which she inherited a portion upon her brother's death in 1997. Despite having sold the company to Capri Holdings, she remained the lead manager of the company. Her appearance in the 2022 Versace Spring Summer Collection was impactful more than most people expected. Y'all know Lil Nas who has been a controversial artist in the past few months, 
after he released one of the most streamed songs in 2021. Y'all know which song I'm talking about. Montero, right? His album that followed the controversial song caught even more people by surprise after he presented himself as pregnant on the album cover. He got many people talking to clout his artistic work, much of which seemed to work. How did we even get here? Let's get back to what matters. Donatella Versace, yes, she is all responsible for getting us talking about Lil Nas. In the show, she got everyone a laugh, thanks to her regal three-in-one look for Lil Nas X at the Met Gala, which was amply demonstrated. The collection at the show was mainly aimed to revive the numerous hints of Versace aimed straight at the corner of TikTok generation or in other worlds young people for whom Dua and Lil are a household name or ring a sound in their heads. Despite these youngsters having all the knowledge about the celebrities present in the show, most of them are not familiar with the veteran supermodels who have helped put the luxurious fashion company on the radar of great fashion companies in the world for the last three decades. The new models, the likes of Dua, needed some guidance on knowing how to go about things. Naomi Campbell came through for the new gen models and showed them all what was needed to accomplish the show. Once the curtains were raised and the lights shone on the runway, do a cat walked first, opening the show. The show started at such a high tone that it only had one option and one option only, which was to maintain the fire burning, true to your expectations when the second, third, till the last model walked down the runway, great modern fashion looks were served. Dua's first outfit as she went before the audience was stunning. She opened the show with a cutout jacket and a slash skirt tricked out in multicolor version of the previously talked about in-house famous safety pins and closed it in the even more iconic chainmail, dipped hot pink for the once in a lifetime occasion organized by Versace. Visualizing the outfit reminded me of the fairy tale that we all know of, that of the princess who was chosen just because a shoe fit her foot. We are all talking about the famed story of Princess Cinderella. If she had rocked the outfit that Dua wore, she would have been selected automatically without her need to fit the shoe to her foot. Yes, the outfit was one of a kind, and aside from Dua's fame, she stole the show and stole all the eyes. After she walked down the runway, the show went on as planned and showcased even more trendy outfits. After Dua's show, Versace kept things young and playful. Yes, when I say young and playful, I meant that. On the runway, the fashion giant showed its new trends in the sport. Models showed the new basketball silks and pajamas, which were having a pattern that traced back in the olden days since they were set in the archival Medusa print and the new La Grecia print. And using the patterns for accents, a handkerchief top here, a bikini top there, and as patchwork on baggy faded blue jeans. In the Versace show, there were branded shirts for first time buyers. A lengthy run of Miami neons was bookended by portions of black with a quick transition into college red that included what may be Versace's first varsity letterman's jacket. The vinyl bustier dresses by Iman Haman and Kiki Willems in particular would be quite at home in Miami. Following the exhibition, speculations began to surface that Versace was preparing for a collaboration with Kim Jones and Silvia Venturini, Fendi of Fendi. Questions about what Donatella had planned, sparked by cryptic emailed invitation for Sunday evening, could have threatened to overshadow tonight's major event, but that wouldn't happen. It's impossible to outshine Donatella Versace. Well, the Versace Summer Spring Collection showed the potential that the creatives in the fashion industry hold. All of these collections served the audience with something that pleased their eyes. The show also gave a lot of young people the chance to have an opportunity to see their favorite celebs. As we wind up, do you believe that Versace would make a collabo with Kim Jones and Sylvia Venturi Fendi of Fendi? If yes, do you think it would be a killer collaboration? Please share with us in the comment section. Our time has lapsed and we would like to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and share the videos as well. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification as well. Thanks a bunch for watching. I'll catch you at the next major fashion show event.